Okay, um, so a couple of things on the log. Uh, the, I'll just kind of wade through this stuff. We'll hit it as we go. But the aggravated assaults, uh, a couple of those I don't have reports. Um, one of them, a person was driving and said somebody else pointed a gun at them and they took off. So not a whole lot of information on that, but no fire, no guns were fired in that one. There's quite a few arsons. Those are all related. So it was last night around 8 o'clock we had a few different calls about dumpster fires and there was one of them in the 200 block of North Nesmith, uh, two of them, let's see, one of them in the 900 block of East 8th Street, one near 7th Street and Nesmith Avenue, and then there was some clothes that were found on fire. Uh, that was a different address but still in the 900 block of East 8th Street. So officers were able to find some surveillance video and it captured the image of a guy who started one of the fires. He was wearing the same clothes when they found him. He was actually in Heritage Park, so that was about 8.30 when they found him, so relatively short time frame. He was arrested for four counts of reckless burning. Uh, I'm not sure where the clothes came from, but uh, the dumpsters, no real significant damage from there. And do you want his name? Yeah. Yep. Uh, last name is King, K I N G. First is Shannon, S H A N N O N. Middle is Philip, P H I L L I P. And he's 31 from Sioux Falls. Um, burglary that was an apartment that was entered. The counterfeiting was a fake 50 that was passed. Disorderlies, one of them is a report, the other two involve juveniles. Family disputes were reports and protection order violations. Frauds were ID thefts and some other reports. Nothing big from the larcenies, no big quantities on the narcotics. The sex offense, uh, I don't have any reports on that one yet. The uh, sudden unattended death, nothing suspicious there. The vandalisms are all cars. And the other thing I was going to talk about was an update to, um, I guess, the shooting that we had on Friday. So it was Friday evening. That was in the 1600 block of East 10th Street. This is the one where the guy had parked his car, found somebody else inside the car. There was a scuffle between them. The suspect left, and the victim started following him. When they were over by 10th and Mabel, the suspect got into the passenger seat of a car pulled out a gun and fired it at the victim and then they ended up leaving. So we were able to make a, or identify the suspect. An arrest warrant was issued yesterday. Um, I think it was yesterday. Let me pull up his name quick. Yeah, it was yesterday, um, doesn't have a time, but it was, the arrest warrant was for quite a few different charges. Um, <clears throat> we had attempted murder, uh, several alternate counts of aggravated assault, discharge of firearm at a motor vehicle, attempted robbery, attempted grand theft, and then some other counts of simple assaults. The warrant carried a $100,000 cash only bond. The Sheriff's Office Fugitive Task Force found him yesterday afternoon in the 3500 block of North 4th Avenue, and I believe he lived there. He was taken into custody without incident. And his last name is Hassan, H A S S A N. First is Hazma, H A or Hamza, H A M Z A. In the middle is A-B-O-U-L-K-A-D-E-R. And he's 18 from Sioux Falls. And I think that's about all I have. Do you guys have any other questions? Any updates on this morning's incident? Did you find the age of that second child? No, I haven't had a chance to, to find out anything, um, any other details. So this was the uh, 
shooting call, a family dispute on Willow Avenue. Yeah, I don't have any more details at this point in time. So um, I'm hoping at some point in time today I'll have those, but it just kind of depends on how the, the investigation shakes out. And I can certainly let people know if I have more information later too. Anything else? Okay, thanks.